Sean Warm, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshah, Bashim, Karkadash, double honor to the elder, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. So I chase you, I can teach all truth and sincerity. Uh, um, this is going to be called um, All is Vanity and Vexation of Spirit. Um, uh, this is Isaiah 60, verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the, Mo of the Lord of Yahweh is risen unto thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Yahweh shall arise unto thee, and his glory shall be seen unto thee. Because, um, like it says in um, Isaiah of chapter 5, verse 20, which I'm going to get, um, uh, uh, it, it will, um, destroy the, the covering over the people, the, uh, the, basically it will, uh, reveal the, um, the, uh, the blindfold over their eyes so they can see um, what is, what is true, what is not true, what is, uh, what is, um, the right way, what is the wrong way, how to, um, govern themselves, either in righteousness or in wickedness, because, you know, in the flesh dwells no good thing, and, um, basically what is, you know, all is vanity and vexation of spirit out here, because, um, you know, um, because this place is a, a continuously, uh, draining vexation, especially for the men of the Lord daily, because we see wickedness going on 24 seven and there's no judgment. There's no, no recompense. There's no, um, I'm trying to think of another word, you know, it's not, it's not executed, judgment is not executed, expedient out here in these, these streets when it comes to wickedness, wickedness, uh, uh, vex, vexing, um, abominations, they continue on in this society without no, um, without nobody, um, uh, rebuking them and, and chastising them for their wicked deeds and they they uh, go along like it, like it's just normal, which which shouldn't be that way. It, it, back in ancient times, people used to be executed within a town square, and after the execution, everybody went on like it was normal, because that's the way it was supposed to be. It, you're not supposed to allow a vex. Uh, uh, you're not supposed to allow wickedness to continue, um, and and. Uh, be a part of the community because like the scriptures say, um, a little eleven leaven a whole lump. Um, you know, like back in the ancient times we used to get rid of evil, wickedness and abominations, um, because um it it get evil amongst from amongst our people. Um but anyway, but we're just like lot. You know, Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. We we represent Lot, which Lot represent the elect. You know, we're the, we're the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing. You know, um. But anyway, I'm gonna go to First John, uh, two and eighteen. Uh, it says, "Little children, it is the last time." And as ye have heard that that antichrist shall come, even now there 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 are many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. And yeah, there are many antichrists out there, cause we're in we're in evil times, we're in wicked times, cause the wicked are in rulership, and um, their abominations are promoted daily, and that's a a continual vexation. You know, you know it's and it's a vain thing because they, you know, this society could be a little better if they would execute judgment right away. But they're not going to do that because 
the wicked man's in rulership. And he, he likes it deplorable. He likes it. He likes it the way he likes it this way because he's this way. He's 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 the most vile and most uh, grotesque individual on the planet Earth. And he likes it. He likes it this way because that's how his people are. And that's how they always going to be. You know, they hate uh, righteousness and they're never going. You know, how can you make a um, how can you make a wicked thing clean? Or evil thing clean, or uh, or or unclean thing clean. You can't you can't make an unclean thing clean. You can't purify an unclean thing. And you know the the red Hebrew Edomite, who's Esau Edom, he he can't be he can't uh, be cleansed because he is a vile and wicked individual. You know. Um. But anyway, I'm gonna go to Isaiah. Isaiah um five and. 20 um it says woe unto them that call evil good and good evil and that uh put darkness for light and light for darkness and that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter yeah uh it's gonna be destruction unto you because woe means destruction you're gonna uh actually get judged for calling evil good and good evil you know um uh, so I'm going to go to the last scripture is, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, Salakia. this is, uh, second Peter three and 10, but the day of Yahweh, excuse me, but the day of Yahweh, Bashan Yasha will come as a thief of the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt. With fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are the end shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking forth and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell righteousness. And we're supposed to be looking for things above, not things beneath, for the uh, new heavens and new earth, which is going to be new rulership, uh, uh, a established uh, kingdom filled with righteousness, you know, and, and abundance of blessings and beneficial uh, things for the entire earth. Not just for the entire earth and the universe, you know, because uh, once the people of the Lord are in, in, in sitting in the power seat and the rulership seat, everybody's going to rejoice. Every every animal's going to rejoice. Everything in nature is going to rejoice because they're waiting for the, the children of, of God to be in power. And that's what they're waiting for. They, they hate being under this. This in this vibration, this wicked vibration. They hate this because they're dying. They're not. They're not lasting longer. They're they're uh, being extinct. Nobody's happy. Everybody's in 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 turmoil and sorrow. It, it's it's not a it's not a joyous existence. Wickedness is not a joyous existence. It's a wicked. It, it's an awful existence. That's why we need to be changed. That's why we need to get that that download. Of salvation, a, a, a age of righteousness forever. That way, everything will flourish and the earth will be beautiful. It it won't be it won't be no sad animal. It won't be everything will be back in its 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 uh extravagant state, amazing state. It it won't be the air will be clean, the water will be clean, the people will be clean. You know, you'll actually see a glow on, on women, men, children. You know, it, it won't be no sad faces because the righteous are in rulership. While the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. People are in sorrow. People are in pain. There's sad faces. There's more homeless people than ever. It's That's a sad look to see all the citizens and most most countries and states, there's a lot more homeless people. Wow. And it shouldn't be that way. But it is that way. So anyway, 
I'm going to say all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Bashim and Kakadash. Double honors to the other apostles, great millstones, titates, you all can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.